connected with a big, ugly, half-machine Dark Lord. He had a message for you. Damn Scotia. What business has he, going behind my back, speaking to my apprentice? Trying to intimidate you, no doubt. Wretched monster. More machine than man and dangerously powerful. Now, ever since I arrived on Dromund Cast as an apprentice, he's made every effort to stand in my way. Ustaitnians and Parana, Rahitis ni Aino. Ultimately, we cannot even begin the search for Tulakhod's ancient power with Scotia's rattling breath on our necks. Sounds like Scotia's got us on this one. No, not quite. You see, I have a plan. You are going to kill Scotia for me. I can't kill him. He's too powerful. Exactly. That's the genius of my plan. I cannot be tied to Scotia's murder. Brazen power plays make the Dark Council nervous. But nobody will believe that a mere apprentice could defeat Scotia. It's impossible, and that's why it will work. So what am I supposed to do? I've begun to piece together the puzzle for Darth Scotia's destruction, but some elements have yet to fall into place. Out in the jungle, a group of slaves has recently revolted. They were working on a colossal statue that has since gone unfinished. I believe Scotia is hiding something of great importance near this statue. Get the archaeological plans to the area from one of the slaves, and contact me by Holo Communicator. In Bizoze Waitai Spira Press in Kretai, in Bize Ewanata Atragata Indais. Exactly as reported. A degree six revolt population equivalent to the Duros uprising on Zilior. Subjects occupy a moderate radius of jungle. Good. Good. Welcome, apprentice. Your timing couldn't be better. I am Lord Drowl. When the Empire encounters resistance on its conquered worlds, they call me. I'm here to end the slave uprising on Drummond Cass. I wasn't aware there was a slave revolt going on. Very soon there won't be. You can assist me in ending it. The situation is this. A Sith Lord was constructing a colossal statue of himself in the jungle. His slaves revolted and armed themselves. The Colossus remains unfinished and well-armed slaves now control the jungle. An embarrassment for the Empire, but an opportunity for me. What can these renegade slaves possibly provide you? Test subjects, of course. A means of perfecting my techniques. I'm testing a toxic weapon, a poison called Quell. Its victims experience a prolonged state of agonizing pain before finally dying. The victim's allies are so horrified by Quell's effects, they lose their wills to resist. At least that's what I intend to prove. What a disturbing experiment. You're quite the sadist, Lord Drowl. Please, there's no need for flattery. I need someone to introduce a controlled amount of Quell into the slave's water supply, so that I can determine the proper dosage. The work is dangerous, there will be armed slaves everywhere, but your success will be well rewarded. What do you say? My duty is my life. Superb. Then let's get started. My assistant Sergeant Slerin will recommend the correct dosage of Quell and give you a supply. See him at the research tent. I know Lord Drowl's tastes, which unfortunately I do. He sent you for the Quell toxin. I'm helping him put down the slave revolt. Do you truly understand what he's asked you to do? What if I told you this experiment is pointless? That past studies have shown increased suffering has no impact on the speed of surrender. This has nothing to do with accelerating the end of a rebellion. Lord Drowl simply takes perverse thrill in gratuitous suffering. I'm sure Lord Drowl wouldn't appreciate these comments. Don't get me wrong, Lord Drowl is very good at what he does, but he lets his personal bents impede our efficiency. I want this assignment over with. The faster this rebellion ends, the faster I'll be reassigned to more important work. Serving Lord Drow's bloodlust has stunted my career. If not for his inefficiency, I'd be a captain by now. It just seems like a waste. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm looking for an ally. Lord Drow's dosage of Quell Toxin will have slaves writhing in agony for pointless weeks, during which this area will remain volatile. I've prepared a dose that will kill the slaves efficiently 
which is better for the Empire and for me. Will you deliver my dosage instead? Let's end this revolt efficiently and kill off these renegades. Wonderful. It's the right thing for everyone. Well, almost everyone. I'll give you a maximum dose of quell toxin. Inject it into the slave camp's water filtration systems and see Lord Drowl afterward. I don't understand why it didn't work. I was meticulous with my measurements. Those slaves must be more fragile than I thought. The quell you put in their water supply is killing them outright. It pains me terribly to hear it. It's simply infuriating. All that careful planning for nothing. All my research is now useless. Oh well. You did as I asked and your payment was not contingent on the results. Here, take your credits and go. I have a great deal of thinking to do. Lord? Look at them out there. They're like animals. Hundreds of slaves with no one to command them and without a thought in their minds as to what to do with their freedom. Like I said, the slaves are animals. But we've noticed strange behavior in the pack. And my superiors want to know more. Some of the slaves are killing each other. We don't know if they're mad or hungry, desperate, or if there's a faction of slaves who've turned on the rest. You've been observing them. Give me your best guess. I don't really know. Who can fathom the mind of a slave? We know that the killings are ritualistic. The murderous slaves come in the night, stab their foes and paint themselves in blood. If you could investigate, catch them in the act and take them down, maybe you could find a clue to their motives. I'll see what I can do. But I remember what it was like being one of them. Ah, yes. Yes, my lord, of, of course. Look for any slave who's turned on his peers. With luck, he'll lead us to answers. You. You are not the initiate. You. You are Sith. You honor us with your presence, mighty lord. Welcome to our prison. What is this? Are you the one behind the killings? I am Traka Unvor, leader of the Unchained. I am master of my hatred. When the other slaves broke free, I laughed. Like you, I knew their escape was a delusion, for only Sith possess true freedom. I was a slave myself, before I became Sith. Yes, yes, mighty one. Then you do understand. I saw a chance to prove myself. I culled weak from strong. I began to kill and to teach. I showed slaves freedom through bloodshed. Now my followers and I are the masters here. And soon, we will become Sith ourselves. You may have potential, but are you strong in the Force? My strength is in my fists, but the Force has guided me here. And it has guided you. Now you can spread word of us to the Empire. Your strength is great. With your approval, we shall serve. Carry our message of allegiance to your masters, and we will become the new face of the Empire. We will be champions of the dark side. The Empire will hear your message. As it should be. Take this data pad, my plea to the Sith Lords. For now, I am not ready to leave the Colossus. With every kill, I feel my power grow, and there are many slaves who may yet join me. But soon, we will all be ready. We will await word from the Empire. You may do as you wish, but you don't yet understand the Sith. Yes, I look forward to learning. It's good to see you back. I knew those slaves couldn't hold their own against you. I take it you managed to track down one of the murderers. What's their story? Can we use them? The killers will now serve the Empire. I have their oath of allegiance here. What do you mean? Let me see that data pad. This is madness. They're serious. Slaves who think they can become Sith. A slave can become Sith. Never forget that. Yes, as you say. I'll inform command. I'm not... I'm not actually authorized to speak with Sith Lords on the blockade. But I'll make sure they know, too. It's been an honor working with you. I hope we meet again.